Did you know that there are a number of new antiquity furnishings that you can get with the Necrom chapter? Let's have a little look. Hello, it's Icy. Small spoilers here, if you'd like to discover these for yourself, please do check out the other videos in this playlist. But otherwise, if you're still here, uh, let's take a look at the new antiquity furnishings that you will be able to subscribe for uh, with the Necrom chapter. Now, this is using the add-on called Display Leads, which is a fantastic add-on if you're on PC and you run add-ons. I would 100% recommend it. To scry for antiquities, you need access to the Greymore Gray Moor chapter. However, that has pretty sure that should be moved into a DLC. So if you have uh, ESO Plus, you should be able to access this. Or depending on the various sorts of versions when you buy things, etc., you might have unlocked it in a different way. However, once you can scry things. Uh, and you come and scry, and you find the lead in the Telvani Peninsula, you should be able to scry for these things. So, the antique map of Apicrypha, that's just, the lead for that's just purchased from a merchant. Uh, I think the innkeeper will have those. Um, the antique uh, map of uh, Telvani Peninsula, so that's Apicrypha and Telvani. Presumably there is an innkeeper somewhere in Apicrypha who will sell you the other one. Now, this one. Apicrypha Fossil Arch. Interesting. Don't know. The one disadvantage is um, no idea how big these are and there's no way for me to tell. Uh, I suspect if you Google, if you really want to know this, there's probably some sort of um, uh, people have uh, looked through the code to find how big these things are, but for the moment all I can give you is the names. Uh, we have the Apicrypha Fossils Bones Large. The Apicrypha Fossil Nautilus. Now, we also have the Nautilus that's embedded in the fossilized one that's embedded in the large rock, and that's really big. So, is hoping that all of these are quite big. Apicrypha Fossil Worm. Ditto, even though this says Zone Telvani Peninsula, presumably you find the leads for these in Apicrypha? We'll see. Cliff Racer Skeleton Stand. I don't know what this is, but that sounds fantastic and I would like to know more. Uh, and the Mushroom Classification Book. I'm absolutely here for books. Now, the um, as per normal, once you've uh, unlocked three lore, I dug up three of them, you should be able to purchase these for gold afterwards from the achievement housing vendor. So hopefully we'll actually get a whole bunch of really delightful things. Now not only are there the normal furnishings, but if we take a little look here, all of these things are actually available from the Telvani Peninsula. So uh, we have also a, another music box uh, that looks like it has four parts. So that's kind of cool. Um, and we also have a new alchemy station as well called the Glass Desiccator. Uh, so we should be able to scry for that and buy that one as well. That, that one only has one lore. Presumably, once you've scryed it up the first time, then you will be able to um, get it any time after that. Oh, no, sorry, I take it back. Looks like there's several parts to do. Okay, no, there's a whole bunch of parts there. What is that, 10? 10 parts to the music box. Uh, and that 10 parts to the alchemical station as well. So, okay, so not quite as easy as you would think. I don't know what that is. The Umbral Frame, the Trifold Mirror of Alternatives. I don't know if that is a furnishing item or something else. Well that looks interesting. I think I need to know more. Um, but when will I get to know more? That's right, I'll get to know more. When the Necrom chapter goes live in 
about six weeks from now, a bit under, I think. Very exciting. So, uh, any of these that you, well, if, do you know more? In which case, let me know in the comments below, please. Um, or is there anything in here that you're particularly interested to find? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out the rest of the videos in this playlist as they are all focused on the Necrom chapter. Uh, also, come follow me over at twitch.tv slash icyic where I stream the Elder Scrolls Online and you'll find me adventuring through the Telvanni Peninsula on the PTS and then again online, as well as doing a lot of housing. But thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.